All right, hey guys. Um, this video is going to be about some of the Twitter clients for BlackBerry. Um, I'm doing four of them. The four that I don't know. I guess you could say they're the most known or people have the most most popular or whatever you want to call them. So um, I'm going to show you the four of those and which ones um, have a lot of information, which ones are real basic for whichever kind of person you are. Um, I just started to get on Twitter about two weeks ago. I've had one before, but I've kind of been off of it because I've been on Facebook and stuff. But I switched over to Twitter and I was wondering what the best um, BlackBerry apps were for it. So I did a whole bunch of searching. I found one that I like and um, now that I had a feeling of one, I went through to see if there are any better ones than that. And I downloaded three other ones to show you, and we're going to start that right now. Okay. So, here's my phone. Alright. I'm going to go down here to this blue folder, and this is not something that you download. You know, you can just click on the menu key, hit add folder and then change the color and stuff of it but um... I just made it a folder to make it easier to get to for this video alright so I'm going to click on this folder you see I have four apps right there and um... we're just going to go left to right here I'm going to start with this one it's called BB Tweet Alright, um, that was from before when I was messing around with it. Alright, so, um, this one's really basic. Um, it's said to have, when you get updates from friends and stuff, it will show up in your message box over here. But, I just downloaded it about 20 minutes ago and I haven't got anything yet. Because nothing has happened yet. So, um, this is what it is. It's just a what are you doing screen you could... You know, you could type in random things like there, and you can hit update, and that's pretty much it as you look at this um, menu key here. Not much other than that. If you go to options, it's just your login, logout stuff. Alright, so that's a real basic one, and it's said to um, bring your updates through to your message box using data plan so it won't mess up your how many messages you have during a month or whatever but like I said I just got 20 minutes ago and I made a new um, Twitter account for this video so I wasn't showing you my um, so I wasn't showing you my personal stuff so um I haven't got any updates yet because I haven't received any but um I'm not sure if that works or not I read on the website that it does so I'll assume that it does Alright. Alright guys. So the next one here is Twibble. Um this one's said to have like the most information. It's jam packed and sometimes it might look like it has too much information. But um we're gonna show you some of that right now. Um right now I'm not logged in yet because I wanted to show you this because it's a little different. Alright, so you can log in your username and your password here, as usual. But here you can actually select a theme of what you want to be. So, um, I'm going to pick Tazar. Tazar, however you want to say it. And then you got AP Roots. Check every how many minutes. Show profile pictures. Jump to start when new tweets arrive. Vibrate. Template text. All that stuff. So a whole bunch of options that you could change. I think it's the one that um you can customize the most. So I'm going to put in my username here. Hit OK. I'm going to save. And as you see, it says I have no tweets right now. Well, now I'm going to swing over to the computer here. Oh, it was still loading. All right, here. Hold on. Sit back down. See, I have one that says. About to create a YouTube video about the Twitter apps for BlackBerry and which one's the best. So um, I'm doing that now. We go over to the computer here. I'm going to show you here 
Twitter I have uploaded on the computer. I don't know I'm not using the hyper cam right now. I really should be, but I'm not. Okay, so um here you see that right here there's that tweet I uploaded and you read on my phone. And um right now I'm following three people over here. Um I just did that. I'm not sure if um well, we're gonna bring it back over here. I'm gonna go to let's see if I can get friends list or something here. Alright, well, what if I do direct message to to no I don't wanna do to tech help. Um let's see. Well that that looks like it could be a problem. It doesn't look like it shows anything about your friends in here whatsoever so um we're gonna put that away for now and we'll go to the next one all right so here's a uh, the third of the fourth apps i'm about to review this one's blackbird and it's said to have the fewest amount of things possible but after looking at these four i think bb tweet has the lowest amount blackbird um it doesn't show a lot, but it's actually not as bad as people say. So we're going to launch that here. And you see, um, you can have a welcome welcome thing down here. And this, I guess it's just a white screen. I can't type in it or anything. So um, you can send updates, friends timeline, replies, direct messages, public timeline. Alright, so back to the computer over here. You see I'm following basic things just for the video YouTube PlayStation and Microsoft so we're gonna click on PlayStation here or er, that's all you need to see right there for now I'm gonna go over here friends timeline um it's requesting friends timeline um okay so see it had it had my one up there I'm gonna hit refresh here try to find um if any of these people of course nobody's um updated there yet but it does show up i've tried this with my other account and then replies but don't have any of those yet either so um viper is not as bad as people say as you see it's very bland but i think bb tweet is definitely the um lowest information one Alright, uh, here's the fourth and final app right here. This one's called Open Beak, but um, they actually changed their name. When they came out, it was called Twitterberry, and this one's actually the most popular as well as um, as far as being known and stuff. So, um, this is the one that I downloaded first because um, my friend had Twitterberry, and he said it was real good. So, I went to search for download Twitterberry, couldn't find it anywhere, finally found this site. When I clicked on it, it said, um, open beak. Eh, sorry, that went to the home screen there for a second. So, um, I'm going to open this up here. And this is the main screen whenever you open. It's just your basic, as if you're on the computer and, uh, you know, you went to your home. And it asks you what's happening, you know. It's the same thing as right here. Okay. So, this is your basic screen. And it's really, really good. Um, here you could go to your friends timeline, but again, I don't think I have anything besides me with that right there. Um, but see with this one, this is one, this is a feature that you couldn't do on any of the other ones. You could get your friends list, alright? So you could click on here, and remember from before, it said the three that I was following on the computer, YouTube, Sony PlayStation, and Microsoft. We go over here to the phone, YouTube, Sony PlayStation, and Microsoft. You see it side by side there. It's the same exact thing, except um, on the computer, it has their latest um, 